Hello there. Welcome back. It's your girl Daphne. This time I'm bringing you a new video, a DIY wooden beaded garland. It's a very simple project to make. Here are the items that I'm going to be using. We're going to get started with painting the natural colored beads. I'm using chalk paint in white, um, but you can really use whatever color, you know, blends in with your decor. Um, I'm trying to make it easy for everyone. I put it on a skewer so that you can make the painting a little less messy. As you can see, I still got a little bit of paint on my hands, but much less than if I had did it without. step is making the tassels. It's much easier if you get a piece of cardboard. What I did was I used just the top end of the bag of beads and you want to just start wrapping whatever type of uh, string you're going to be using. In my case I'm using yarn and I'm just wrapping it around about 20 to 30 times. Once you get your desired length, you're going to then cut it off and you're going to continue to hold it because you want to make sure that your tassel is very neat. So you want to then slide it off of whatever type of cardboard that you're going to be making. You're going to now use the opposite end that does not have the beginning cut strings. You're going to Continue to hold it and make sure that the top of your loops, which is going to form the tassel, is very smooth. You're going to take a piece of yarn and you're going to wrap it around the end of the tassel. Mine has about an inch down from the top loop. And after you get the tie, and in this case I did a double knot, to make it very secure. You're going to then smooth it out to make sure that your tassel is at the end is gonna be the best uh, and appealing. So you're now going to just wrap the yarn around about, I'd say about five times. And once you wrap it around, you're then going to tie off your knot to finish off the top of your tassel. Okay, so we're almost finished with this tassel. The next and final step is we're going to then cut off the bottom loop. As you see, I wasn't able to get through all of them at one time, but it's okay. You just go back, smooth it out, and finish cutting your loop. Okay, so off camera, I did a duplicate tassel because we're gonna need two for this project. So the next step, now that all of the beads that you painted is dry, we're going to move on to stringing the beads. I find it very helpful, especially if you're using yarn, to take a piece of scotch tape and just secure the end of what you're going to be pushing through the beads. It makes it so much easier to get through the beads. So make sure you use the scotch tape. I'm just going to speed it up here a little while I'm stringing the beads. Um, you can just watch along. What I'm doing is alternating my pattern. I did about a third of the beads without painting them. So I'm alternating 
two painted beads and one solid bead to finish my strand. I'm using about 19 beads on uh, this garland, but you can use whatever amount of beads um, you desire. It's really a uh, loose, open amount of beads that you can use based on how you're going to be decorating. Our next step is to attach the tassels. So what you wanna do is just give yourself a little slack of uh, length of twine or yarn in this case. You're going to put that yarn through the top end of the tassel that you created and you're going to secure it with two knots. We're not finished yet. We're back to the scotch tape. I'm telling you, scotch tape in this project works wonders. Whenever you want to try to fit the bead back through using the yarn, scotch tape is gonna be your friend. As you can see, I had to go back and add another piece of scotch tape because you need to make sure that the scotch tape can be long enough to fit through at least two beads. We're so close to being done. So we're at the point where we're sliding the two beads through using the scotch tape. The next step we're gonna do is take the opposite end of the yarn and we're going to slide it through the next bead and we're gonna do the finishing knot. I do a double knot to secure the beads. We're going to do the exact same process on the other side. I'm just speeding it up so you can see the full process. There you have it. We're all done. I hope you enjoyed. Had so much fun recording this video so if you like videos like this please subscribe to my channel like and share